it's Will from Break Designs here, and I'm sorry I haven't been putting any YouTube videos out uh, lately. And that's because I've been on holiday and been taking time off doing design work, been in hotels and stuff, and it's been really good. But I'm coming with a new tutorial today about the Shape Builder tool, or the, sorry, not the Shape Builder tool, but the Pathfinder tool. Uh, and this is a really uh, awesome sort of tool to use within Illustrator. Um, and it's in most of the illustrators, I, I believe, but I'm using Illustrator CS6 here, which is, uh, I think, the most uh, second most recent uh, Illustrator software that's out at the moment, or the Illustrator update. So the shape, the Pathfinder tool is uh, here on mine, but I'm just going to put it up here for the purpose of this. And the way you would find this is to go to Window, and you need to do this before anything else, um, go into Window and go to Pathfinder tool which should be right around here somewhere. oh there we go uh, you can press shift command and F9 or shift control F9 on the PC to get it up and it should just pop up here and you can put it wherever you want on your screen If you don't, that's if you don't see it but if you already see it it's all good it should just say Pathfinder in this little tab here so this is what I've created with it so far and um, it's basically just cut out pieces of shape now in here inside this there's nothing in there it's been cut out uh, and people get really confused on how to do this and you, I'm using this circle as a sort of uh, a general template so you know what it's about. So what we have here is a group of uh, three circles so one, two, three and it's been other circles have been cut out uh, they've all been cut out in certain parts. So this one is a certain circle here you can see there's nothing inside there this one is a certain circle nothing inside there and this one is a circle and there's nothing inside there so you can see that it's all about uh, sort of uh, circles or you can sort of change the shape or cut it out with another shape you can even do this with a pencil but we're going to go into a new document I'm going to show you exactly what I mean so I'm going to press uh, command N to get a new document up I'm going to make it 500 by 500 easy as that now you need your smart guides on here so I'm going to press L to get my tool here so this is my ellipse tool uh, with the hot key of L and uh, I'm going to find the center. Now I found the center really easily there with the smart guide uh, and you get them up here in view uh, and then you go to smart guides or you press command or control U uh, on a PC or on a Mac. So what we're going to do is we're going to just click and then if we just came out like this it would just come out as a funny circle. So what we need to do is we need to constrain it like this but that's no good either because it's bringing the constraint over to the right uh, it's holding the aspect ratio of it, but it's not coming from the center. So to make it come from the center, you would uh, press shift whilst clicking down. You press shift and alt, which will constrain it from the center, which makes it a lot easier to keep it within the center. And if you don't think it's right in the center, you can go to your line options down here or generally up here. If you don't see them again, just go to window and go to align or press shift F7. I think that was shift F7. Yep, that's right. Uh, and then just go and align it like that. So we've got it perfectly there. Now I'm going to switch around my stroke and fill. So I'm just going to press that to switch them around. I'm going to get rid of the stroke because I don't need that. I'm just going to make sure that my swatch is here. My black one is above. So what I'm going to do now is I'm literally just going to copy. I want to cut out uh, most of this circle on the inside. I just want a band around it. So I'm going to just copy this by uh, highlighting it and pressing Command C. And then I'm going to press Command F, not Command V, because Command V will place it here in this section. It will place it right in the center. But it won't place it right on where the object was before. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to press Command F, which will center the paste to where um, this circle is now, to where it was cut from. And we're just going to expand it down by using Shift and Alt, like so. And you'll see nothing much has changed, but if I change the color of the fill, you see there's another circle there. And I've just constrained this down. So there's technically two circles here, a blue one and a black one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, highlight them both. And with my Pathfinder tools, we have these different sort of um, boxes here. Now the one I'm going to be using is called Minus Front. And this is how you cut the shape that's on top of the other one off the bottom one. We have also here Unite, which would unite both those shapes. The front one would take pre um, precedence over the bottom one. Here we have insect, you know, insect the outside of it. So if you do that, uh, it will insect the rest of it. This one is exclude. So it exclude um, basically does the same, but it makes it so the um, front object takes precedence. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use the shape modes here. And we're going to use minus front. And what will happen there is that shape has been deleted, but so has the bottom shape where it was lying. 
So there we have it, there is your circle with nothing in it. If we just select that, you can see that there's a path outline, a blue one going on the outside of it, just like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press Command F again, and it will fill the, uh, the shape in. But what's happened is if you just paste the circle that you pasted before back on. So we need to press Shift and Alt and hold this down and just bring it down. And bring it back up a bit. And there we have it. There we, In there we have like a circle around it. Um, it's sort of like a border, so it's easy to see that this bit in Illustrator or Photoshop, if you, depending on where you're putting it, it will be transparent where the circle is now. So if I was to bring it out, you can see that it's transparent, that there's nothing. Uh, you can see the distinguishing here, you can see through it. So that is, uh, that is all right there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make another circle. I'm going to uh, copy this and I'm just going to paste this one back in and I'm just going to circle this one down to about here. I'm going to change the color to brown so you can see, if I can. So you can see the circle there, and I'm just going to highlight them all. Hold Shift to get rid of this outside one because we don't need that. I'm going to press the same mode here again, minus front, and it will take away that shape. I'm then just going to uh, press Command F again, and I'm just going to make the circle really small. So I'll put it in the center. And there we have it, that's basically it. Now these are all different objects, so what we can do is we can group them together by pressing Command G and then we can just literally use that and that is it that is how the basics of the pathfinder shape modes tool uh, in illustrator and it will become very handy to you when you're trying to make logos and stuff so make sure you use that if you like the video give it a thumbs up and stuff um sorry i haven't posted in ages but thank you so much for watching check out my website and goodbye also you might want to subscribe for more awesome free tutorials okay bye